Okay, so I'm getting some questions about biofuels, and um, what I'll do is I'll, I'll take a shot at um, ethanol. Now, the thing I want to make sure I preface this with is that I'm a mechanical engineer, so except for the chemistry and this stuff, uh, this is the only thing I know I had to use, what I've read. Okay, ethanol is moonshine, or white lightning and it's about 190 proof and the only reason it's not 200 is that it's so powerful it sucks the water right out of the air so um okay so now pretty much if you're following energy uh, you will know the word on the street is that this is not energy positive okay that's the big a cornell professor did a report and uh and he said, with all the, all the shenanigans we're doing to take corn and turn it into moonshine, uh, it doesn't make positive energy. We're actually putting in more oil than we're getting it back. So right now, everyone is kind of poo-pooing uh, ethanol. Now, I want to tell you that I'm pretty cynical about stuff, but this stuff I am not cynical about. Now, what I know, or what I've read, is that if you make... Remember, I do not know, I do not know my biology. Scratch, no, starch. Starch. If you use starch, which I guess is in corn, um, uh, sugar, a sugar product like sugar cane down in Brazil is six times better than using a starch product, I guess, like corn. So um, any discussion of ethanol will immediately jump to Brazil. But before we jump there, let me do some chemistry. Now, there's a concept called density, which is hard to explain, but let's just, let's just take a gallon of gas and let's call it one gallon of gas. Now, diesel, the same, the same physical size, has 30% more power, so 30% more power. Ethanol is 0.6, so it has, well, let's, let's do this, it has um, 0.6 the power of gasoline, which ethanol. Now, when, they, when you drive a flex car, which means it can go gas or ethanol in Brazil, um, this one gets less mileage because it only has 60% the energy per volume. Um, like diesel trucks, they have to stop less because they have 30% more energy per volume, which is a benefit to diesel. Okay, now you might think that this is a you know problem, but I want to tell you that as a guy wanting to get a tractor working on a dairy farm, this is a big deal. These, these guys are power these these three guys have power in them now granted this is not as high let's say this is Derek Jeter and this is a rod but this is a starting Yankee this guy has power unlike hydrogen which is a battery so I'm rooting for ethanol and what we have in the world is the federal government pumping a lot of money into corn based ethanol and there's a company called ADM, Archer Daniels Midland, and they're processing a ton of this ethanol. Now, people are kind of bummed that um, we're spending, we're raising the price of corn, and it's, we're not really getting anywhere. Now, I am not, I'm, I'm fine with that. And the reason is, we've got a real company, real time, trying to get this thing energy positive. Now, they're their researchers know damn well that everybody's watching them, and so they're working around the clock to try to get this energy positive. Um, anything, try anything. See, the difference would be to give money to a university, and they'd go off and research it, and if they were successful, um, you know, they'd, they'd be great. If they weren't successful, they would just be anonymous. But everybody's watching ADM, and they've got, they've got vice presidents yelling at them every day to get this thing energy positive. Now. One thing that happened, which I think is funny, is that the DOE responded to this Cornell professor 
and they said they are energy positive because he didn't count animal food. I guess the result of processing an ethanol leaves some animal food. So with, the, with counting animal food, it's energy positive. So I think this is funny. It's a little thin for the DOE, but they had to respond. Okay, now let's go down to Brazil. 1973, Arab oil crisis, and Brazil says, that's it. We're not going to be um, dependent on oil in the future. So um, they've, got, they've got a military in charge, military, and the military says, um, we, we want to switch to ethanol. So they have sugar cane down there, which, remember, is six times better. They have lots of land, good weather, and cheap labor. So with all of these things, um, F Brazil's really running their country. Um, and I don't think it's 100% on ethanol. Actually, I should be researching this stuff, but it's, it's better. Than, it's, they're doing great. And um, so this is, this is good news from Brazil. Now, the, um, the thing that, once again, I like about this, this funding from the federal government which is flowing mostly to ADM, is that venture capital groups, which um, drive a lot of development, are searching the world over for this thing called cellulose ethanol. Cellulose ethanol. And what happens here is I think you use the entire stock, you throw the entire, you don't just throw the corn in, you throw everything in. And, um, and this is the dream. Everybody's looking for cellulose ethanol. And all these venture capital groups are chasing it because if they get it, it's going to be a win bigger than Yahoo and Google. And so anybody gets this thing is going to make a, a beeline to John Doerr. And, uh, and so, that, so the good news about the federal government blowing all this money is that people are chasing it. They want to, they want to make a, a, a dent on this. So um, like I said, I'm not an expert in biology. I don't even know what it is that I'm not an expert in. Um, I know the mechanical engineering or the chemistry and um, so um, that's, I, I got gotten a couple requests on the internet to talk about this so that's my ethanol talk, my bio, or the biofuels versus uh, food.